All right, guys, we're uh, here in the vineyard. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the shotgun all loaded up, uh, ready to go. It's just shooting light here in about 10 minutes. So we're gonna drive into the vineyard a bit, um, find a nice spot that we wanna set up. We're gonna rabbit hunt a little bit at first, walk around the vineyard and stuff into our spot. And then we'll go ahead and set up dove decoys, do a little bit of dove hunting. Um, walk back out, finishing up with a little bit of rabbit hunting and then hopefully won't be too far in the day and then we can go out and really hunt down um, for the elusive pig, pretty much. Okay guys, I'm even more stoked now. Not only did we get our dove decoys out, we are in zone Q2. There's quail everywhere in this vineyard too. I'm so stoked, I didn't even think about it. I was sitting here listening and then I heard a quail. And I go, wait, I think it's quail season. So there we go. Not only do we have that, this is what we're gonna do, okay? We've got the decoy set out, kind of close to the truck. It's not a big deal, doves really don't care. We're gonna walk the vineyard, rabbit and quail hunt for a bit, do what we can do, and then we're gonna come on back up here. Um, we're gonna see if we see any doves over there, because usually you can shoot them out of the trees. Um, and then I'm hoping if any doves and stuff get pushed, they see the decoys, they see this area, they come here so that when we do come swing around, get some shots and some doves. Let's see what happens. All right, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't, but five minutes into the hunt, we got a shot on the rabbit. I guess I missed him. He was a big jackrabbit. And then I got another shot on him. I had the bead on him, shot him. Still nothing, so. I'm not sure if he's hit or what, but we're gonna keep looking for him down these rows. So far, it's been good. Let's keep trying to find him. We got two doves in that tree right there. We're gonna see if we can pop him out of there. Try throwing rocks. Oh, I see him. I see the quail. I'm gonna try throwing rocks to get him in the road. Let's see. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, I hit one for sure. I saw him fluttering around. Ready to go. Now I hit him. Now I hit him. Ready to go, ready to go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, here he is. Nice. Right here. Look at that quail. Nice quail. All right, guys, we're gonna take a little bit of a break here. We got that one quail um, out of that group, which is nice. We've pretty much shot at everything we've come here to hunt, except the pig. Um, shot at two rabbits. One of them, I mean, was a massive jackrabbit. I'm honestly really bummed out I didn't get that guy. He was huge. Um, but we got two, we got uh, shots off on one of them. Saw another one, stalked it for a sec, but then we lost it. We weren't able to get another shot off. Shot some doves. Um, and shot off some quail. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chill out, hang out here. We're gonna actually harvest some wine grapes here. Um, it's, you know, harvest season. It's a huge field. They don't really care. So I think... Okay, we're gonna head back to camp. We're done uh, hunting here for now. And uh, we'll come back in the evening and stuff, but we'll, we're gonna see if they got a pig, possibly. Um, so yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Um, and I'll tune you guys back in. Okay guys, I wanna show you how to like find a distinct um, pig trail. So I'm walking down to the cabin right now, and there's trails all around us and stuff. The pigs are everywhere around here, so. It's we have an actual trail here. You can see that. And then you see this mud on this uh, tree here. So this a pig has been waddling in mud and then he, he's been coming by and he's been rubbing on this uh, tree here to get the mud off and stuff after it dries. And then you look across the river and there you see another trail where they continue. So this is a sign that this is a, a pretty recently used trail. The mud is pretty fresh, you know, and it's used pretty often. You can see broken sticks and stuff. up with a little bit of rabbit hunting a little bit of dove hunting we've got the uh, decoys out right now on this tree here you follow you follow where you found them I'm gonna go around all right guys Jeremy saw the rabbit while out dicking around Got him! Oh my lord!
Took his head off. Oh, we got him. Woo! Woo, we got him, bro. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, guys, as you know, we shot a rabbit, thanks to the help from Jeremy. Hey. Doing fantastic brush breaking work. But we have the heart, and so I'm gonna take one piece. Jeremy's gonna take other. one piece. We're gonna go ahead and eat this. You ready? Bottoms Cheers. Up. You know, it's really like calamari. Yeah. You know? Just not cooked. Just not cooked. <laughs> it's not bad. If you're not into textures, though, you're going to think you're chewing on a slug and you might throw up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we've finished up the hunt. We did not get our trifecta today, which is rabbit, dove, and a pig. There's something in the middle of the road here. What the fuck is this? You know, every time I go to film with these fucks, something pops up. There's a goddamn fucking... What the fuck is that thing? All right, guys. We actually did achieve the trifecta. I spoke too soon. We haven't left property yet, right? So I'm driving. I got the guns away and everything. And I see something in the middle of the road. I swear it's a grass. So what do I do? Park the truck here. Can't hunt from your truck. Just gotta park it. Gotta chill out. Got my gun, load it up. I didn't see whatever it was anymore. But it was it was pretty nice and big. It was actually two grouse with a Eurasian dove. And Eurasian dove came coming in and he got smoked. I can't believe that happened. So not only today did we see rabbits, quails, grouse, doves, all that stuff. Oh, today was a great day. Today was a fantastic hunting day. These are one of these hunting days where you're getting multiple species and stuff. This is what makes it so exciting, makes it so worth it. Wow, that was fun. Right before we're leaving too. Let's get the fuck out of here, guys. We've been shooting too much shit. We've gotta leave some stuff for other people. All right, guys. Now I can actually say that we are done hunting. I am off the property. I can no longer shoot guns. There's just no way in hell I'm gonna get any more ammo. There's no way. So, today we did freaking amazing. This is probably one of the most epic hunts I've had uh, in a while. Three species in one day. Um, I really can't I really can't complain we had a good ass day the universe provided for us today but thank you mother earth for uh, all the animals you've given us to eat but all in general we had a good hunt I hope you guys enjoyed the hunt as much as I do and I hope you guys will stay tuned for the next time we go out